being a movie buff, how do you choose the kind of movies you watch? Is it by the genre, the director, or the star? You uh, I just um, I choose movies for uh, sometimes if, if I hear a review about it, you know. But for me, it's um, I'm really eclectic by nature. My my personality it cross across genre. So even when I do music, even when I write music, because I write music, I'm so, sometimes I'm writing reggae. Tomorrow I'm writing soft rock. Another day I'm thinking so of genre no, no, no. For me, it's just about the quality of it. So oh. once the beautiful is beautiful. I mean, I see I see Indian movies still. I see Chinese movies, and I'm that kind of guy that I'm sort of afraid to cry when I see a movie. You know, people see. Oh, you have to be a man. F forget it. Let's cry, y'all. You only cry when you watch movies, though. Well, yeah, when I read books sometimes. So. <gasps> books? Yeah. I'm like that. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it at all. I'm I'm very, em I'm an empath. You know what I mean? So, like, you know when you're you're so involved in, the, in yeah. it, I'm like, oh, my God. And then you find... That's so cute, though. I mean, a big guy like you cry. Wow, that's new. Okay. I have like, I have five questions okay. for you to answer in five minutes. Let's see how fast you can do that. Okay. Mm, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Thriller or comedy? Uh, thriller. Acting or directing? Acting. Jollof rice or planting? Both. Island or mainland? Mainland. A big buck project or quality project? Uh, uh, most of the time, big buck project usually turns to quality project. Most of the time. <laughs> you know anyway, what? thank you very much, Yomi. Um, but before I let you go, I, I, I observed that you have really been investing your time in producing some content for YouTube. Why yeah, is that? Yeah. It's just, um, for me, I like the, you know, the freedom. Like gone in for the streaming yeah, platforms, no, but you me, are like, okay. It's just for, it's just for me, it's uh, the freedom of it. You know what I mean, right? Just being able to wake up one morning and have an idea and you can take your phone and you can shoot it and it goes out there because right now the world is cross borders. You know, sometimes you have some material that you spend all your money on and it just doesn't fly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes just knock your phone together, get a few creative minds together and it just grows across the whole, you know what I mean? Right? So that is, that's it for me. It's basically about the freedom and understanding that, you know, creativity is not limited. So. I, I miss my youth in the times when we didn't have these resources that we have now and our minds were blazing with creativity. Now we have the resources. So let's just fool around. Now still on, you know, taking your phone and producing or fixing something you have in mind. I, I've observed that a lot of your projects are done in our indigenous language. And that is what a lot of international award body are looking forward to. Look at what just happened. We weren't able to make a submission for some reasons. But are you looking at making going back to the big buck project uh, that will be able to, you know, make it to the international. Definitely, team. definitely. Uh, there's stuff coming up soon. It's just being trying to get the right minds, uh, get the right investors to come together to understand the project and to invest in it. And uh, for next year, there will be a sleuth of products that will be mind boggling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, because for me, it's just understanding. Once you understand the basics of it, then you put the right minds together. For me, next year, just watch out. There's going to be booga, booga.